Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This is a tumultuous time in China as the Three Kingdoms have finally been established. We are the Kingdom of Qi, and to the south of us we've got the Kingdom of Wei, led by, well, what was once Cao Cao, and then down south even further, we've got the Kingdom of Shu. Han. So a lot of warring to do in uh, what I wrongfully said was, uh, you know, in my south. I said all my enemies are to my south. This is great. And then, of course, yes, I, they are also technically to my north because I sandwiched them with uh, all the territory I obtained, let's call it, from Sin. Dian. We do have a couple of rebellions going on, but I don't think I'm too worried about them. I'm more worried about my situation with the Han Empire over here on my unprotected southern borders and with Lu Bu. Now with Lu Bu, the good thing is that I am right there, uh, so I'm able to respond to him pretty quickly and maybe even destroy him pretty quickly uh, if, you know, if I push aggressively. And I think that's what I need to do to end this war and hopefully bring peace between us and the Han Empire as well so that we can focus against the Kingdom of Wei and the Kingdom of Shu Han. Now, the thing is, the thing is that I might still want to raise an army down south over here just in case the Han Empire gets a little adventurous. As you can see, they've got a small army over here, nothing I'm too worried about. Uh, we've got this huge border, it's very unprotected. So I just feel like, you know, like I don't want to lose uh, Tangsha, especially because the money we make from here, especially when corruption has been reduced, the money we're going to make from here is huge. Uh, we do have a little rebellion popping up, but you know, we've got. We're fine. We've got walls, we've got towers, we've got a little garrison. So I'm not too worried about that. Who are you? Zhou Shuyan? Do I know you? Have we ever interacted? Apparently we don't want to interact. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 right. I forgot about the... Right, um... Does anybody want to trade with me, actually? Let's just check real quick. Nobody wants to trade. Does anybody want to confederate? No. I hate that it <laughs> pretends like somebody wants to confederate. Gu Yong and the Han Empire are maybes. The Han Empire wants a lot in return for peace, uh, but Gu Yong is, uh, I mean, Gu Yong's on the back foot. We're going to finish him off, I think, this session almost certainly. We're going to end this pointless war to the north. Uh, I would like to finish Han Fu off before we do that. There is some food to be had over here, and food is a desperate need of ours currently. Um, so maybe it's this last city of Gu Yong's and then these livestock farms and the, uh, and the farmland of... Uh, of Han Fu, and then we get peace across the board. I think that would be best while Kong Rong himself moves towards Lu Bu, who's moving in with his rather massive army over here. But where is Lu Bu himself? I wish to pursue him right back to Chang'an and take everything that uh, rightfully belongs to me. Before all this action begins, though, I want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Uh, it's always good to see the enthusiasm is infectious. The uh, comments are always, they, they bring up some good points or ideas and thoughts. I love addressing them. And uh, on top of all of that uh, is also the fact that uh, looking at likes and comments lets me know what people are interested in watching more or less of. So please keep doing that. It really helps me understand what people want. And pretty soon, we're going to actually maybe have to start talking about what comes after Kong Rong. Um, it's still, there's still some campaign left to go. We got to take out the Kingdom of Wei, the Kingdom of Shu Han, get the, you know, 96 uh, counties and whatnot. So there's still some time to go, but we do have to consider uh, the future of, uh, of Three Kingdoms on this channel. Now, this is rough terrain to march through, but we are against pitiful armies over here from the enemy so i feel like uh, we can move relatively confidently i am worried about wow negative 47 uh huh okay well we might want to move up and uh gain some military supplies instead plus 10 is not enough the terrain is not helping okay so if we move out of there we move up to say here hopefully it'll be better for our food needs or our supplies needs i should say It'll still be dropping, but hopefully... Wow. That's still real bad. We're going to suffer um, attrition at that rate. We could rush up a little bit so that next turn we can attack. I don't want to suffer too much attrition and then have to fall back. That would be ridiculous. And then down south over here, uh, Deng Jiang is replenishing this turn. Kong Rong is replenishing for the rest of this turn. Uh, and then Deng Jiang is going to move up to the farmland while Kong Rong, like I said, moves down that way. Cool. That's all well and good uh in terms of food hopefully we'll be solving that soon we have a couple of structures coming through that um that should help with with food distribution most of it's down to the south over here uh where are we like the, the, oh we can actually upgrade you we might want to 2200 
gets us a bigger garrison as well. We have uh, at Ling Ling, I believe. Yeah, we've got this that is increasing our food production. So that should be quite helpful. This gives us four plus 100 percent. That should be quite big, actually. And then I was also thinking that maybe I would trade with uh, with people as well. And this will bump our food production as well. So in three turns, food will be OK, I think. Yeah, there we go. In three turns, food should be OK. Now, what I do want to do is raise an army down here. But I don't know if I mentioned that already. But before I do that, I want to... Oh my god, Lingling Ling is a huge, huge commandery. There's the Lumberyard and the Toolmaker to get here as well. Interesting. Um, right, but sorry. But before I do that, I want to wait to increase our uh, financial reserves a little bit first. Now, to speed that along, we're going to take care of the corruption in Tangsha. Uh, it used to be 80-something percent. We got a reform that helped reduce it, but we can reduce it a little bit further. So here's what I'm thinking uh, in terms of reforms this session. We already got the... Uh, Where'd it go? Uh, this one over here. No, this one over here. The coin minting helps reduce corruption a little bit. Um, man, if I can get some copper coin mints going, that would be huge. I should check uh, Hedong for that. Um, but apart from that, sorry, I got myself distracted there. We want to go chasing after, I think it was this chain over here, that increases public order and corruption in alternating fashion. So it'll take some time to get there, but I think we need to really work on that because it is costing us a lot. But immediately what we can do is at Tangsha, we can get an assignment because Lady Wu has the counteract corruption assignment available to her, uh, and that should really help quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get Lady Wu counteracting corruption Let's assign that down here. It'll take a turn for her to get in there. But, uh, the like, we're making so much money here. And we're losing so much of it to corruption. So that'll help a lot. And I think if we can actually appoint an administrator here. One that we trust. Lu Su, perhaps. Um, nah. Honestly, I'm looking for anybody who can reduce corruption. It seems we don't have anyone that I trust that can reduce corruption here. What about you guys? Let me just check something real quick here. Before I'm I'm uh, mixing some stuff up. Because an administrator is very, very helpful right now. Um, There we go. Okay, so it's the administrator that reduces corruption. Okay, okay. Not the specific administrator. Um, You know what? Plus 40% income from commerce, silk, and spice. Seems like the right call. So we're going to go ahead and appoint. Oh, yeah, it's like right up there. I'm blind. Dang Sui. Lu Su just joined us. Here we get plus 40 from Commerce, Silk, and Spice. Better reserves, reduce construction costs, better population growth. Um, Reduce building upkeep doesn't sound bad. This is... As much as I'd like the plus two public order, I don't think that's really going to help us right now. Lusu looks good. And Deng oh, so it's between Lusu and Deng Sui. So Lusu, Commerce, Silk, and Spice, reduce construction cost, population growth. A smaller reduction to construction cost, smaller population growth, but we can, you know, fix that. It's just that he's more satisfied. He's a bit pricier. He's also higher rank. You know what? I think we should get Deng Sui in here. Deng Sui, where are you? You are a general right now, right? With this little... Hmm. It kind of splits how we might want to develop them is the only thing. Ooh. Plus 15% income from industries available. We've got... Uh, what else? Food production and administered commandery. Okay. I mean, he'd make a decent enough uh, measure, Lu Su. Yeah, you know what? Let's let let's let's give it to Zheng Su here. So Changsha gets the gets the administrator. Um, Zheng Su, he's been with us for so long. He deserves this. Yes. Go ahead and confirm that, and that should really help. We're so let's remember that number. Seven fifty six is what we're getting right now, right? That's an instant change. And with the assignment, we're going to be getting the full... Holy crap. That'll be great. Okay, this is this is good. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I think this is the turn, though. We've got food buildings coming. Uh, income should be improving. 
I, I yeah, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. We do have some generals who have leveled up, I think. Dong Fan. Let's go ahead and give you. I don't really I'm not really using you. I was wondering if I like send him off to spy or something. Gong Fan, Gong Fan. Are you available to spy? You are not, because you are on assignment. Okay. Okay. Could make him a better administrator, I suppose. Up his expertise a little bit. Sure, let's let's do that. Let's take him up the uh, the political route. He's a traitor, and then Lady Yuning. Um, just in my court right now, aren't you? Upping authority gives what morale and stuff. Okay. Only affection. Nope, that's pointless. Not really feeling any of these and having access to industrial exploitation because again i don't know how many like i'm going to have another army so i guess i should prep her for for military purposes just in case just in case i do need to raise an army to the south let's not kid myself that's that's going to happen there's going to be fighting to the south all right, this is all okay i believe though that that is the turn I'm gonna let my money Collect a little bit before I go ahead and recruit that army to the south, I think. There's, there's money to be made here via investments. I just feel like I need an army sooner rather than later. So let's uh, let's hang on to that. Hit that end turn button. See what the AI does and see what opportunities present themselves to us. Uh, who do you want to invite? Ni Yanri. Oh, that's... Whoa, they're both for it? That's Ma Tang, right? I mean, I, I'm okay with it. They're not. I'm fine with it. Let's extend that uh, olive branch, shall we? Their choice, not mine, Gongsun Zen. What's going on over here? Gongsun Zen is moving in against that army as commanded. These guys are coming in. We should ally with who? They both want to try and bring you in. Come on, man. Come join us. Join us. Come on. It's funny that I'm in a coalition with my future enemies. See, this army I do not like. I do not appreciate this army or this army. Well, that explains why they weren't interested in um, friendship. They're not going to join me, are they? Because they want to be with, uh, what's her name? I'm going to call for aid. Hopefully they'll answer the call. This is troubling times. I'm at war with, uh, now I'm at war in every direction. <laughs> Now I'm at war in every direction. In comes, of course, a valiant defeat is predicted. We don't have any archers, so that's a bit of a problem. But if I play it safe, I might be okay. I expect Zhang Yan to go in a different direction. But of course, he had no other direction to go in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fight this battle. Not going to let the AI just throw away our troops. All right, this is a very interesting layout. I don't remember fighting in this layout before, uh, or like it, it just doesn't seem as uh, as familiar. I've gotten so used to the other ones. So the two generals are going to come in from over here. Uh, so we just have to hold the line over here. Unfortunately, we don't have spears, which is a problem, but we do have a ton of cavalry, uh, which we're going to focus on this side over here. We're going to send the cavalry out basically right away. Uh, go out, maybe tuck in the trees over here, wait for these guys to move up. We're going to charge them, crush their archers on this side, hopefully crush the archers on this side as well. There's some cavalry of theirs to be worried about. There's definitely spears to be worried about, but my swords will overpower their spears, no problem. I should actually, I might actually be able to hold this, folks. Go ahead and line up over here, give them some room so they, uh, they have to move closer to me before they can start firing. I think same goes over here. We'll, actually this kind of doesn't matter. Once these guys get in, they'll get in. Uh, so that's fine. Let's get you up a little bit, though. I want to be able to pile in if necessary. And I would really like if the cavalry was just going to cooperate a little bit. Just a little bit, Cav. Come on. Sure, good enough. Good enough. That works for me. Got swords over there. Let's go ahead and get some more swords over here. And these guys, let's go ahead and pile you over here. You know what? I hmm. I don't feel terrible about this battle. I don't feel terrible about this battle. Uh, whoops, we've got another one. There we go. Okay, this feels good. Go ahead and pull you back. Leap from behind a little bit. Our Dan Infantry Captain. Okay, this should be fun. 
This should be fun. Let's make sure we have a clear path out. We want to get out there as soon as possible. And it uh, should be good times. Let's begin. So, we're going to rush out. We want to get there as soon as possible. Here we'll march. But the cavalry needs to get out there ASAP. Alright, towers are firing away already. That's good. Good and helpful. Get you focusing on the same set of archers. Because then maybe we'll scare them off. Or you know what? Actually, not even that. Let's focus on Dang Yan as soon as possible. Here as well. The archers, I'm not too concerned about. We're going to charge them. We're going to wreck them. All right? It's the cavalry. Oh, hello. There we go. I could pull back a little bit, but... don't think that's the... Okay, we need to move. I was hoping I'd have some more time. Not able to. Move up. Move you up. Let's go. Go up. Alright, cool. We're getting in a position. In comes our cavalry. I need to intercept some of this cavalry. Move you past. Alright, and we go up there. Here we go. Get ready for a counter charge over here. Go. Alright. Rotate you up that way. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. Got the nice counter charge in there. Counter charge up here as well. Ah, too late on that. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. This is good. Let's go. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Send you over that way. Get you guys out of there. Good stuff. Spears have been destroyed. Hold the ground. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pull you down. Okay, this is good. Those guys are dropping. If we can come back for some rear charges, that'd be huge. Pull you guys up that way. Good stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Get down here, get down here. How are we doing? Did we seriously just kill him? Oh my god, we just killed him. Okay. I'm fine with that interception. Let's go. We have to destroy this uh, this army if possible. Coming from both sides. Are you charging in? Are you charging in as well? Alright, not the best. And I don't know why you guys are going all the way there, but I'll take it. Go out of there. Oh, these guys shouldn't last very long. The camera's acting really weird. The controls are off. Okay, you, enemy flees. Pull you guys out. Oh, wow. Let's go. Before they brace, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Pull back, pull back, pull back. There we go. Focus up on you. Let's go ahead and get the rear charge in here. And then coming from both sides again. There we go. That's them taken care of. Victory is ours. Okay. Don't know why I was so worried. Let's go ahead and make sure these guys do not come back. Wow, we, we barely took any damage. Speed that up. Just want to chase these guys down and finish them off. Good stuff. I wonder how many troops we actually lost. Man, having that much cavalry is extremely helpful. And this is good. We need we need the money saved. <laughs> Get you up there. Let's get you up there. Go. I don't think we're going to make it. I think that are, I think those guys have made it out. Unfortunately. But I will claim that victory happily. Uh, you know what? We might still be able to cause some more damage over here. Go, 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 go. Don't get caught up. Like little ants. Come on. Come on. They're right there. They're right there. Just ride them down. Write them down, damn it. Ah, they got out. Alright. Good enough. Decisive victory. Sounds good to me. Oh, six minute battle. Yeah, you know, we took a little bit of damage here and there, but of course, like some people got engaged, but uh That was good. That was good. Dang Yan's been a thorn since the beginning. Deng Jiang will be happy to hear about this. Oh, is he dead? No. He stands. He stands to be what? Executed perhaps? We lost only 192. 
We gained some double axes. Let's go ahead and take the money. We need the money right now. Really? We didn't even capture him? Damn. Alright, what's going on here? What's going on here? Everyone's at war with me. This is really rough. Everyone is at war with me. Oh, hello. You think people would be happy about having a new emperor who actually cares about them. And Sui has joined the war against me. Great. Yep, I'm aware of this. Great. <laughs> okay, well that, that works in my favor. That also works in my favor. Uh, Han Xian, Tu Fa Chang. Okay, cool. The finest armor. A cart arrives in your capital, filled with various goods from across the land. Among the myriad items is a gift from one of your talented armorers. A resplendent suit with a short, inspiring note attached from its maker saying, Only through strength and unity may the land be made whole. Get a new suit of armor. That's because of my craftsman that I have, I think. Uh, we've got rebellions imminent across the board. Can I reduce taxes and make people happy? We will find out, ladies and gentlemen. Over here, we are suffering attrition. Fantastic. Uh, I am able to hit the iron mine, though. We're very badly hurt. I don't think I'd be able to take this army on in this current state. I think I need to fall back, unfortunately. I might be able to... No, I can't get to that livestock farm. Yeah, this was, this, was, this was a bad move. Going further into enemy territory was a dumb move. Maybe it's time for peace. Maybe. But these guys are starting to apply pressure, which I'm not a fan of. We've got these rebellions popping up. We've got Dang Yan up there. We've got uh, Han Fu over here. Like, Maybe it's time for peace. Because I just got dragged into another new war. Which I cannot put an end to just yet. Man. Negative 40 from a major threat. Seriously. I've never liked that. It's like, how does that make sense? I'm a major threat, so you... So you want to goad me into a war with you. God. Okay, well... It looks like we're not going to have a chance at peace over there. I mean, maybe we'll have a chance at peace with Gu Yong. Yeah, we can make this work. They just want some money and some ancillaries. Okay. Okay, on the topic of ancillaries, though, let me just quickly check what we just got. I need to repair you. Uh, but yeah, let's check... Uh... With someone who can actually wear it, maybe. Uh, one of my generals who's not special and is also not a strategist, please. There we go. Ah, that's a new one. Professional is Raymond, I'm guessing. An extra expertise. In place of the charge bonus, better armor. Sure. He deserves it. Do we have another weapon for you as well? Yeah, we got the dual war axes we can get you. Reduces the expertise, though. Oh, Marshal D, that's a good idea. There we go, bumping that expertise right up. Now, who... Who could use the double axes? You've already got a special weapon. And I've got a lot of really cool weapons available, actually. I got more weapons than I have people to give them to. God damn. Well, I mean, I am going to raise another army to the south. And look at that, our money's... Gone up to 3k. Down over here at uh, Tangsa. What are we looking at? That's huge. That's huge. Alright. You guys are not happy. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and take that farmland. Food is on the rise. So that's good and helpful. The copper mine over here. What's the deal with the corruption reduction? That's up over here. Okay, that's a long way to go still. That's a long way to go still. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just trying to figure out what the next move is. Because I, I, you know what? I think I need peace up over here. This is like pulling me in the wrong direction. At least I'll be able to use Zhang Yan as a bit of a buffer between us and uh, Ni Yanri as well as Lu Bu. I think that's necessary, folks. Let's go ahead and take uh, Deng Jiang into the farmland at Anping. 
Hopefully it's, yep. Yeah, ripe for the taking. A Pyrrhic victory is unacceptable. We're going to fight a night battle. Uh, we're going to use our trebuchet, hopefully much better than we have before. And uh, we're going to take this little farmland. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what we can do here, folks. Is my camera back to normal? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. That was really uh, bugging me. I think it was just that battle. All right. Um, our trebuchet have some pretty great range over here. Uh, I think we're going to do what we always kind of do. Wow, there's a little mound over here and everything. So let's get the trebuchet set up over here like so. Good range. We'll be able to get some decent damage into, I think, uh, most of their units. We'll take out their towers over here and then focus on some of their units. I could... Got these towers over here as well. And some more towers, I assume, over here. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm wondering if I want to do something like this instead. We're over here uh, and we take out both these sets of towers so we can come in from two sides if necessary but I think what's more likely is they're going to pour out towards me and I'll have to shut them down so let's go ahead and pull back a little bit over here there's a blind spot for the towers in this area if I'm not mistaken oh you're not even there's a huge blind spot over here actually so that's good to know all right all right uh I'm like mixing up my Kong Rong and my Deng Jiang st strategies here this should be a good enough distance. Uh, we should get our spears ahead, like so. Right, hurdle you up. Let's make sure our crossbows do not destroy our uh, artillery this time around. So if we put you over there, there's this blind gap over here, right? Yeah, it's crazy. This is a huge blind spot. Who built this city? Um, and did they build it on rock and roll? Wait, is this a mine? Because if it is, then they did, right? Uh... Let's move you. You don't have as good a block chance. We'll set you to this side over here. So if we have to move up that way, we can. And then our cavalry... We'll put on this side. And I think we might actually push through there. They'll probably put spears there, though, is the, is the only thing. Let's put them over here for now. Alright, let's go ahead and get everything set up. You guys like that repeating crossbows we should put in a separate group okay there we go you guys grouped up as well use those flaming shots to start and let's make sure you guys are grouped up too okay i think i'm pretty comfortable with this layout right now let's get these guys back let's get both of you back over here second to engage if push comes to shove just don't want to lose any units uh, if it's not necessary. And you know what? We might as well start with the uh, shield wall up. Might as well. Resist those charges if they come through. Okay, should be interesting. Should be interesting. I think we'll be okay. Uh, first order of business is to fire at enemy clumps. Second order of business is to fire at their towers to uh, make holes. What I'm hoping is that by coming over here, not only am I able to take out all these towers if necessary, and I don't think it will be, that's my big city plan, uh, but also that uh, they'll be forced to kind of turn around and clump up in this corner over here, and hopefully I'll get some good hits in. But let's find out. Only time will tell. Let's begin, and where are you? There you are. Beautiful. Clumped up as desired. Let's go ahead and fire like so. Uh, I'd rather not hit the trees if possible. Oh, camera's acting weird again. Just slows down as I get lower. Here we go, though. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Here come some more shots. Any missed shots will hit the towers, which is excellent. And it's already set alight. That's that's great. That's great. Alright, over here. This is a big old clump. Take advantage of that. Nice. Be another set. You guys don't need lanterns. There's going to be plenty of light around you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at those hits. Just look at those hits. Now, let's keep an eye on things to make sure we're not about to be bum-rushed from the other side here. We are... Yeah. Fire. Get that nonsense off. Fire over here. This should be good. Got our shield walls up, so that's okay. These guys are taking hits too. They're going to give up on the fight easily enough. 
guy up over here. Okay, slightly more accurate shots would be really helpful. A little dip here, it looks like. Okay, they've given up. Turn around fire over here. Block chances are really helping us here. Alright, we're going to fire that way. And this way. Can we seriously not... Uh... There, let's fire on the ground. Even inaccurate shots will get some work done, I think. Once these guys give up, we can fire over here. Actually, we'll fire over here. And let's go ahead and get you guys moving up to fire on the uh, captains. Right, these shots will be slightly inaccurate because we're firing on the ground. They're, they're using this mound rather effectively. That's actually quite nice to see. Quite nice to see. Fire up over there. And maybe fire up over there. Be back. Okay, we're good. We're gonna absorb this charge on, on our shield wall over here. Artillery continues to fire away. Hopefully get some good hits. Oh my god! The damage on that was insane. Okay, we're firing up over here. These guys are running away. We're still absorbing shots. Go ahead and get you moving up slightly. Enemies running. Come on. Give up. Just give up. You know it's over. We've got all these shatters over here. There it is. There it is. Took some hurt on just this unit, I think. Just a little bit. Decisive victory for us. I see. Oh, it's a farmland. They weren't. This wasn't built on rock and roll. <laughs> City was not built on rock and roll. It's okay. Three minute battle. Nice and easy. Barely took any hurt. Good stuff. Good stuff. Those trebuchet. Don't leave. Don't leave home without the trebuchet. Basically. Yeah, lost only 48. We're simply going to occupy, I think. We don't want more rebellions and stuff popping out, and I don't want to reduce the settlement level. Go ahead and occupy. Get some more food out of this. That's excellent. Uh, so Anping is now ours as well. We can go ahead and repair you. Definitely a good call. Uh, 10k. I think it's time to raise some armies, folks. Now, what are the rebellions that are imminent right now? Lu Ling, where are you? You're all the way down over here. You're deserted. You have a lumber yard. So am I really concerned? I can upgrade you and defend the lumber yard here. It does give us a touch of money. I could give tax exemption. That would still... It'll give us some more time, but it would still trigger a rebellion eventually. But I could try it. Because the reserves are a problem, but the reserves will be back up soon. So you know what? Let's, let's give the tax exemption, because all they need, I think, is one turn. So that's one rebellion taken care of. Uh, Yang Zhou will probably have to fight this one. Wait. Oh, I have the toolmaker here. Right. Again, tax exemption could do the trick here. Let's try it. God knows I'm making enough money. Uh, Guangling over here. What do we need to do? What do I even have here? The trade port. Ah, there we go. I'm guessing it's the same deal here. Let's try it. Pleasing the people. Jiang Yang, or sorry, Jiang Ling. Is it the same thing here as well? Yep. People hunger. Rebels with empty stomachs. And Ping over here, are you the same deal? Right, I can't give them tax exemption. <laughs> uh, we need the food from here. Okay. I mean, I'm close enough to... To fight it off if a rebellion... Well, when a rebellion pops up. So I'm not too worried about that. Fair enough. Uh, we've got one at Ling Ling. Fair enough. We give you tax exemption. Is it really worth it? We've got a small regional city here. If, if they decide to attack us, we'll be able to crush them. No problem, I think. So we'll let them have a rebellion over here. We've got another one at Kwai Ji. Small town. Less of a... Uh, Garrison here. We can reduce the taxes and hopefully that'll do the trick. And then a Peng Peng. Again, we just need reserves. Because <laughs> that's, that's hurting us. I don't think I can give you... Oh, I can. I can give you tax exemption. 
It doesn't give us as much food, but at least it's some. It's still in the positive. So let's give them a turn of tax exemption and see if that uh, changes. This is unfortunately with tax level high, so I do still have a food problem. Let's, uh, let's not act like there is no food problem. More rebellions have popped up. The one at Bohai, and then is there... Oh, that one's there from before. Angwu, I'm guessing. Small city. We should be able to hold that off. Hopefully. Hopefully. Two more turns until those food buffing buildings get built. Uh, so yeah, up over here though, I definitely made a mistake. I should not have gone up there. I'm going to fall back now. Um, don't know about peace yet. I need to reassess my situation. Yan Xu is headed up here, right? That's That's where they've been told to go. Down over here, we've got this army coming through, this army Gongsun Zen is chasing after, and this army... Like, these aren't real threats, you know what I mean? I shouldn't be worried about them. They don't necessarily scare me. Now, this army of Lu Bu. I could take it on in an open field battle, I think, without too much trouble. I want to make sure I don't get caught in a situation where we're auto-resolving. But if he goes up this way and tries to take the farmland at Ying Ten. He'd be able to do that in maybe three turns. So I want to make sure I'm ready for that. I'm wondering if I kind of like pop on over to like get into an ambush situation over here, right? So like if I move, we do have this rebellion over here, the farmland. I don't know how well it'll hold against an entire rebellion. I should probably repair some of these. Food production. Food should not be a problem. After all, this is done. Yeah, it's almost like Deng Deng needs to come back for this, and Kong Rong needs to move south. All right, so Kong Rong, let's move you down to here. Get ready for uh, for some for some pretty big warring over here. Uh, up over here, we've pulled back. Deng Deng, you're ready to roll forward if necessary, but also fall back if necessary. Great. <laughs> Pulling her in all directions, why not? Down over here, I believe a rebellion decided to attack me. I should be able to sally forth and destroy them. Close victory, says the game. Um, I've got archers, spears, and some cavalry. They've got a bunch of peasants and archers. I could just delegate this. I wonder if I want to fight this to maximize damage. Um, or do I trust the, uh, the computer? Yeah, well, let's just delegate this one. All right. Done. <laughs> Done. Settlers of the Han. Okay, fair enough. Uh, go ahead and take the uh, money, I think. Hopefully your public order stays okay. Faction support is a problem, but that is going to be fixed in how many turns? Ten turns. Holy crap. It'll be a while. It'll be a while. Uh, this is tempting to build to reduce corruption across across the land. That would make us a lot of money if we do that. Ooh, minus 10% corruption. That's local only, though. And we would lose the 300 income from industry. We'd lose 100 off of it. Math. Math. Definitely think that this is a good idea. Negative 4% corruption faction-wide for 5,500. But first, I think we need to look at some uh, armies, maybe. Down over here, yes. Oh, oh, god. They're not recruiting or anything. I'm just worried about, like, pulling the trigger early and then paying the price for it, but... I should be more worried about pulling the trigger, trigger late and paying the price for that. If I get an army at the rice paddy, I can come back and take what's left of Ling Ling here. And I'd be able to push down as well over here. Or, or do I want to be up over here so I can push towards their capital? That's the question. Yuhan, it's too bad we don't get along. Who else is the Han at war with? Er Yi, Yan Xu, me. Don't know how distracted they are, if at all. 
I'm gonna buy myself time with all this money. It's just a matter of where I'm gonna spend it. Okay, you know what? I think we need an army down here. I'm, I'm, I, I need to be, I need to be a bit more aggressive, at least to the south here. So maybe if this is all that the Han have down here, we can turn around and focus northwards. So let's go ahead and get an army at, I think the small city of Dangwu. Dangwu? Not sure. Um, is that Changsha? The assignment we have is only for corruption, and the Deng Sui. You give us anything that does have has anything to do with the recruitment? Ah, huh. okay. Uh, he he'll make a good. Well, he's already a good commander. All right. Um. No particular reason to deploy the army here. So instead, we'll deploy it at uh, at the small city here. If the rebellion comes through, we can crush it easily enough. But this gives us access to this. Um, push them back. We'll have a little enclave here, which I don't like. But maybe we even raise another army. God, this is going to hurt our like trade monopoly so much. Or trade influence, I should say. Uh, okay. So here, let's raise an army. And I think... Ooh, Lu Su... Come in with a decent size retinue. Get sure Yi involved, maybe. He's been having fun as a Il Gong. Who are you? Loyal to Yan Shu. I don't mind that. Why did you leave? Why did you leave? Um, you I can't hire because... I can. Looks like I can. This kind of it is. Like, do I want a quick instant response? What else do we have? Up over here, we've got... <laughs> no, not going to get Sun Jian or Sun Tzu in charge of uh, these armies. That would not be wise. Lusu has a higher range firing rate, better enemy or military supplies in enemy territory as well. Uh, we just acquired him. He has been loyal to Sun Jian for a while, but he hates Sun Si and Sun Jian. So he seems like a safe bet. Fairly satisfied. Level 4 strategist. Good idea. Comes in with some units already. I'll probably swap some of them out. It's not the best composition or anything. Let's see, he costs 3330. I gotta maximize my money here. Okay. You cost 450. That's because I already have. You know what? Maybe it'll be sure ye. Like, what do you have? You have fire arrows. You've got night battles. We can get you flaming shots when you level up next. Uh, I think it might, might be Shiri, because where is, uh, Lu Su? He's already got flaming shots. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be Lu There, that's the decision maker. Fire decides. He's also got the bigger retinue, already has some, uh, some crossbows, so that's good. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead. Lu Su, you are... Not going to stay in charge, but you're in charge for now. Gonna go ahead and swap out some of these units. Well, first let's go ahead and recruit additional forces. Then Xiao we can send in here. Comes in with some axe band. We just have to add some uh, swords. Then Xiao, let's take a look at you, buddy. Where are you? There you are. Administrator, he's got pretty high expertise. We can get him a fancy weapon. Okay, we can't get him a fancier weapon. We could get him an accessory. Hmm. You've got this for more resolve. Better morale is maybe not a bad idea. Better supplies is not a bad idea either. Okay, let's do that. And we can assign a follower as well. Um... Better cunning is probably the way to go here. 
There we go. Boom. Legendary. Excellent. 40% ammunition bump. Cool. So back over here, Sin Shao. Yeah, I guess we'll bring you in. It's a very... It's a lot of cronyism going on right now. I can't afford to recruit you. You would be a good recruit. I'm going with Spears already. I'm actually wondering if I want to go with a Sentinel or if I want to go in with a Champion. You've only got... G Militia, we can swap it out though. I have no... Like, do I want to hire somebody fresh? I don't think so. Alright. I guess that's the decision maker. So Sun Shao, I think it'll be. Confirm that. Excuse me. I meant... Not exactly what I meant. That's what I meant. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Um, go ahead and recruit some swords for you. Like that. And you, we're going to do some swapping. Swap you out for... Fury of Beihai is super expensive. Is the problem. Go with the crossbows. The Fury of Beihai is super expensive, but they're also very powerful. Don't think I can afford it right now, though. Get some more crossbows. Range of... Where is the range? Yeah. 250, yeah. Yeah, so let's swap... Uh, you out for crossbows. Swap you out for crossbows as well. Okay. Get ourselves some trebuchet in this army too. There we go, with their flaming shots. We don't have enough money for another, do we? Oh, sure ye. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to get uh, either either a, a vanguard or a commander. Obviously, that I can afford. It's going to be a E issue. That'll give us cavalry. Not having spears concerns me a little bit. The cav, uh, the cav commander can maybe come with some spears as well. That sounds like a reasonable option. Or I can do... Yeah, I don't want just G militia. I can do cav over here. Mounted saber militia are good enough for, like, what I need. Um, mounted lancer militia are great for, uh, for charges. Their charge bonus is a lot higher. That's usually how I use them anyway. So, you know, let's go ahead and get that. All right. I wanted to compare. Oh, wow. Huh. Looks like swords are much better than axes overall. You know what? This is the most time I've spent composing an army. We can't afford it. Did I throw money away by... Yeah, it should have been a refund. Anyway, it's fine. I think it's because of the cavalry. Alright, the rest of the money will come later and we'll, we'll increase the size of this army then. Um, I'm going to tuck you into the city. Let's get that extra replenishment. Supplies are dropping. This is a unit transfer. Great. Well, hopefully that won't last too long. All right. Wow, that was a bit of a distraction. That took longer than I expected. At least we've got money coming in now. Uh, we've got a couple battles that we'll fight and get money off of that, so that's good. I do think this is the turn, though. Uh, Sun Ren here has a skill point available. Uh, it was suggested in the comments, by the way, that I should marry Sun Ren to my eldest boy when uh, when he comes of age. That is definitely the plan. That is definitely the plan. Go ahead and give you... Yuri. Feel sorry for my boy, but <laughs> there you go. And since it, what are you just unhappy? Yeah, of course you're unhappy. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Now I gotta make some money and recruit some more units into that army. Feeling pretty good otherwise. Feeling pretty good otherwise. That's the turn. Let's see what the AI does. 
Oh, there we go. Gunks and Zen, finish him off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Boo, boo. Come on, move the map over. I want to see what he's doing. Yan Su's coming up over here. Do what? Go in the wrong direction. Okay. That's my favorite. When when they don't do what you need them to do. Okay, you're pulling back. Dao Ying, we're fine. We get along, right? I should maybe just give them the farm lighted Peng Tang. Actually, no, I need the food. Okay. That one, okay. Uh, Lu Bu and... Okay. Against that, okay. Thing. Wu Yong liberated Dao Ying. Oh. Okay, interesting. <gasps> Sun Jian! No! But I just got you. I never got to use you. Look at that flag flying gloriously behind him. This general has died of natural causes. Regardless of whether they achieved great things in their time or frittered away the years on trivialties, they were fortunate to have been granted a full lifetime to do with as they wished. At 53. Damn. Sensei has left. No longer content. Living in harmony. Modesty is a noble trait to possess. Even in the face of overwhelming praise, the modest warrior remains demure. Two of your comrades, humble to a fault, find friendship in one another. The last you heard, they were stuck in a doorway, insisting that the other go through first. Insisting. This is hilarious. Uh, Sun Xiao and Lu Su, good stuff. Wait, hold on. Don't get stuck in doorways, you guys. You're my generals. I need you to not get stuck in doorways ever. L like, literally. Don't you dare do it. Um, attrition being suffered over here. Yeah, not surprised. It's okay, we're gonna pull them back all the way to home this time. Maybe the large city of Anping. We've got the rebellion up here. We can march back into friendly territory, right? No, we can't. Alright, let's rush on back to the city. Back there. Deng Jiang will go up towards the iron mine. We're, we're gonna crush Gu Yong. Yeah, this is not good. It'll fix this turn, but that, that army needs some time to replenish. Moving in aggressively was definitely not the right call. Definitely not the right call. I can move Zheng Jiang over to here to set up an ambush in case the enemy is trying anything funky. I can also move her up to here to set up an ambush. Yeah, you know, that seems the right call. Let's go up to there. 30%. Movement. Go. I just want to see what's going on over here. Livestock farm is empty. Okay. Maybe we'll catch them coming out. We're good over here. Yan Su, are you even doing what I need you to do? Can't tell. You've gone back to the water. Another the copper mine. Might be. We can move up to here. We can't get there, unfortunately. That's the fastest way to get there. How far can we go for rush? We're gonna be dancing around with this army a little bit, aren't we? A little bit. Go. We can defend that copper mine. Hene and uh, Hene can hold itself if we arrive there late. Might have lost my opportunity to ambush this army, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, all right, we did get some money. Let's go ahead and maybe expand this army down here a bit more. Replenishing right now. I'd like to, you know, get moving right away if possible. I don't think I have enough to recruit. You know what? We can maybe get you... Wouldn't be bad. This isn't bad either, but I don't have that kind of money right now. Sun Ren is actually pretty satisfied. I just barely can't afford her. It'd be pretty cool to have her in my army, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone she knows and loves has died. It'd be pretty cool to have her in my army. Um, but I'd have to wait until next turn to recruit, and she's only coming in with... Have. 
Sinran, where are you? You are. Raider cavalry is your special unit. Uh, I need spears. I need spears. I need spears. I, I think I said I was either going to go with a uh, vanguard or a commander. I'm, I'm fine with a champion as well. And right now, Antong is very tempting to pick. We get along with our people. He comes in with not much, so, you know, I can swap them out. And Tong, where are you? You already one of my own? You're not. Oops. Or I need to assign. Did I not assign an administrator? Down at Angsha. I guess I've got another one. Jesus. I've got so many. <laughs> I hate to get on that. I thought I had... Oh, God. Uh, sorry about that, folks. All right, so Hang Chong. Well, to Han Sui. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Where are you? Hang Chong. Let's get you in here. Go ahead and add... Can't afford that. That's a problem. Not the end of the world. We'll just wait until next turn. Again, there's a couple battles coming through that'll allow us to uh, get some money. As soon as these guys attack. But I do believe that is this turn. Yeah, let's call it. Should have given Gungsons and some orders. Damn. Oh, hello. Yes! Excellent. This is perfect. Decisive victory predicts the game. Make it a night battle, and uh, we're going to fight it. I want to make sure I minimize losses as much as possible, because this army needs to move in and either take the farmland or take that last iron mine um, and get victory once and for all. All right, let's go ahead and begin this battle. See what we can do. All right, let's see. Um... Wow, they're really poorly off already. This is this should not be a challenge. We're going to go ahead and get our spears set up like so. Not going to allow them to leave. You shall not... Hold on. Is anybody... Yes, you <laughs> shall not pass. Oh, he's got Yuan and Wu. Okay, close enough. This guy, this guy must die. There, I've called it. All right, Um, jokes aside, let's get set up. So spears all up front. Not all of them. That That's overkill. Um, let's go ahead and go with... Go ahead with two units up front. Turtled up. In case they decide to charge in. Got these spears. We can bring you up this way. Into the cavalry over here. Right? We don't have as many uh, spears as I would have liked. But it's okay. These guys can charge down here. Eliminate all this nonsense. We've got... You lot able to roll down and engage all of this. Uh, we've got archers, we've got trebuchet, there's so much. There's too much. The trebuchet back here. Fire down the line and God knows how much damage we'll be able to cause. A lot, I'm hoping. I will need to keep them protected though. Got these spears as well. And bring these spears over here perhaps to occupy these guys. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get you lot grouped up. Back over here firing away. Again, we've got massive range, right? Massive range. That's probably not a bad idea. You're grouped. Let's get that set up. And let's get you guys with the not-so-massive range uh, set up to fire where? Maybe from up over here. Dangerous spot to be in because they might charge us, but... Uh... Ooh, or up over here. Hilltop firing down at the uh, commanders. Go ahead and do that. Let's Maybe we'll bait them in towards us. This will probably be good, actually. I'm feeling pretty comfy about that. Cool. That's good. That's good. Back over here. Deng Sui, you're going to be with you guys. And over here, this cavalry unit... 
and this cavalry unit and this cavalry unit over here, hopefully set up for some rear charges. Not all hidden. Get you over here. Or actually, let's get you over here. Cool. Uh, also, I was asked why I don't pause when an ambush starts to give myself time. Because I like the, the tension of uh, not pausing. That's why, that's why you'll notice I never pause. Okay, so this is kind of scary. Let's push you over. Whoops. Let's maybe pull you over a little bit this way. This is the only scary part over here. And you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do this. There. I feel like that's a safe bet. Like that. All right. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Get these flaming shots coming through right away. To where? I need to make sure I don't eat friendly fire. To here, maybe, I guess? Here? Okay, let's do this. Um, Preparing my clicks. Preparing my clicks. Okay. Go. Go. Pull back, pull back. What are you doing? Okay, we're firing there. Pull you back as well. Go up there. Move you up there. We're good here. Let's go. Alright, that's going okay. Get a rear charge over here. Let's pull you back. Kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. Alright, fire away over here. Come on. Get you out of there. Hold your fire. Back over here. Get you over here. Then we go with the spears. This was not the most smoothly pulled off move. Get you up there. Get you over here. How are we doing? Doing well. I should pull you up here. You're not getting away. Hopefully. Dung Sweet coming in there to hold them in place. Pull you back. Hopefully our trebuchet don't get destroyed here. There we go. Got them to turn around. Good stuff. Pulling you away. Keep these guys pinned. Pull you back. Get a charge in there. Or pulling her back for another charge, basically. Okay, we're firing way up over here. Yeah. Wow. You did well, man. Alright. Are we good? I think we've destroyed them. Get you down here. Get you up there. This was good. I mean, as expected, it was pretty quick. Could have been a little bit quicker. You guys seriously trying this? You guys seriously trying this? Come on. Come on. There it is. Nice and easy. Now, some of these units have still got... Okay, no. Ooh, you're still a bit of a unit. Go ahead and destroy that. I want to make sure... I mean, he didn't pass, but I want to make sure he's dead. Pull you over this way as well. Man. The ambush success rates in this game have been very pleasing. I kind of cacked up my uh, repeating crossbowmen, unfortunately. I got a little too adventurous with them, but overall I think it worked out pretty well. Down he goes. Entire unit, please. And there it is. Decisive victory. I will take that, and hopefully that gives me the opportunity to push into that uh, last settlement of Guyong. God. They're going to take my farmland, though, I think. Definitely glad I didn't already trigger the peace. Come on. Cut him down. Or kick him in the face. Either works. All right. Lost only 98. That works for me. <laughs> He's the only one who died. That's 
Kind of funny. Ooh, Meng Ying, I could release you for some money. Or I could get the Celestial Sphere. Oh. I'm the heir of my faction. I cannot walk away from that. You're right. You can't. I'm the Bandit Queen. Yuan and Yang. A strong, clever, vigilant. Friends with Yuan Shu. That's not bad. I could employ you. You fought only because you had to, and you come with an Imperial Bow. Sure, I don't want to upset Yuan Shu. Well, oh, or I could release her. Or I could release her. Get some money off of it, because I don't really want to have another salary tacked on. And it would make Yuan Shu happy, I believe, releasing. Good. Go ahead and take the money. Beautiful. Unfortunately, they survived. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, that's a big army. That's a big army. Okay. This is interesting. It looks like they are moving towards the farmland, and here comes Ni Yan Ri as well. Oh my god, how am I going to win this? <laughs> this is bad, folks. This is bad. At least Han Fu is being thrown back. Oh, no, that's not good. How did you lose that? There's the Han Empire moving in towards its Yangling, it looks like. Setting up an ambush, perhaps. These guys are fine. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. Couple battles to fight. Couple battles to fight. War declared. Ooh. <laughs> Wu Yang liberated Da Chiao. Oh man. Oh, okay. We're at war with the Kingdom of Shu Han. Just like that. Coalitions being formed still. This is funny. Oh my god, there's so much diplomacy going on. Alright, so I've been thrown into war with these guys. I, I might need to... Uh... Oh, I can hit them. I can hit them today. Right here, right now. We got this big army coming down south. We've got you ready to move in and maybe try and defend. I knew they were going to go towards the farmland. Undefended, of course they would. Of course they would. And I can try and cause them some hurt. We do have a decent garrison, actually. We'll try and hold the line here. Uh, don't know the likelihood of that happening. And then, of course, there are all these rebellions that we have to crush. But overall, overall, feeling pretty good, folks. That's a lie. I'm a little nervous. We're at war in so many directions now. With so many factions. All on our own. I might need to get peace. And leave this situation over here. Which is too bad, because it's almost over. Yes, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose, folks. But that cookie is going to continue crumbling next time. This is where we're going to call it. This episode has gone on a lot longer than they usually do. Uh, sorry about that. Hope you guys don't mind. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment. Do let me know that you'd like to see more. Let's figure out what to do with our reforms. Let's figure out what to do with perhaps another army uh, in the south if we need it. Because uh, the kingdom of Shuhan has decided to, uh, to declare war on me going to be interesting. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. So you keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.